That, that's so frustrating yeah. being censored. You know, it's what is even more crazy is I don't think anybody has that where like Steve will do it. You can't, YouTube will not allow any video with him in it or on a thumbnail. Even in it. And if he is on it, they delete the video. Wait, who is that? Sorry. Steve will do it. He's part of the Nelk Boys. Oh, yeah. I, I, I definitely remember that name, but who, why do I, I don't know who it is. Who, who is that guy? He's, he, he, he got famous off of chugging the whole bottles of liquor. Yeah. Like oh, a 175 okay. ejection. Okay. When he was underage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. While he's underage and on probation. Wow. Yeah. Legend. But, yeah. uh, but I, yeah, I would so be his girl, Selena, point. literally. Like she has a social media following thing, and dude, if he was walking across the background, she got fight for it once. Just him walking yeah. across. So wait, why don't they like him? What happened? So and according and then to him, rewards carefully as well. Yeah, <laughs> according to him, when he was uh, promoting gambling, which you can do on YouTube, it's just he did it through Stake. And if you have the lettering Stake dot com in it, it uh, flagged him, and then it became this whole thing with him and it being there, and you know his whole channel ended up getting deleted what? because of the fiasco. So they he just say, lost all this money because he just has, like, his content channel was just so high and he started, you know. How it many, just, so wait, obviously, I'm sure this, is sound, this doesn't sound very recent, but when was it? Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Because it was, it was starting with the Biden, Trump kind of realization. So that was like 2019, yeah. 2012? Yeah. Or, it was or kind of... 2019, no, 2020? Or? No, that, that one, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and because he was very... Pro Trump. Okay. And wow, like, I, I, I didn't know the story. And that's funny. They, I, he's they like, said, you say pro Trump, they but they said, uh, he, yeah, they said because of the stake, but which is a gamble. He started you know, getting messed up with after supporting Trump, basically. Oh, I didn't and, know that. Uh, wow, that's weird. And then, like, all his friends that are on his podcast and they do content with them had to make like a decision where, like, hey, we can't have you in any of our videos or we can't put them on YouTube. And they wow. have all their channels. It's yep. like, okay, damn, I started with you guys. Yeah. But for some reason, it's like selectively him. Like yeah. he's wow. apologized and asked, yeah. like, I won't do this stuff again. And yeah. I understand. Please forgive me. Nope. Blacklist. I, don't know, I did not know he, this story. He even, it's insane. he even reached out to Mr. Beast yeah. to try to, to get like tied to YouTube. <laughs> so. Wow. And it's he crazy. was, I, yeah. I can't remember exactly how that happened, but basically. So do you have millions of subscribers or what? <laughs> yeah. One yeah. of the biggest oh, channels sorry, on YouTube. I, yeah. Very ignorant Because he situation. did some. No. I, yeah. He, I think he's just excited because like, I mean, well, he did some ridiculous content. Not would, like hurting people or making fun of people, more like himself and being uh, just yeah. a party. And I'm just saying, I know, I know how he had to have a ton because like he would gift like, he gifted like six, nine, uh, uh, Lambo or something. Yeah. Um, he, he gives would, money he would away gift like. like like he gave Donald Trump a, a, a like a quarter million dollar watch. Yeah. Like yeah. he would just gifts like crazy. So he had to have a, some good money coming in. Yeah. He always I've I've seen him like a lot of people respect him because there's been content creators that have lost scenarios and he's like loan them the money. He's like get it back when you can mm-hmm. and then builds up their channel and stuff like. Yeah. Really. The most uh, recent Vitality. Yeah. He did Vitality. that. For Vitality. That's what I was bringing up. Yeah. Which one was that? Sorry. Vitality. So. Vitality. What's that? Vitality would go to the hood dressed as a zombie. Because yeah. that's where these are like the best vine days. Okay. Yeah. Two, two, like literally, oh, six, oh, eight. No, probably the later. Dude, man, oh, was, I must have been living on a he, rock. Sorry, guys. Well, he was the first. Big, I swear you've seen something. He, he was, sure. yeah, I hope so. He was, the, he was the first biggest YouTuber. He was the Mr. Beast of that time. Oh, wow. And then he, like, literally, like, went to jail for, like, beating up a lady basically and now he's trying to uh, yeah like assaulting an innocent I did not lady. know that man that's that, crazy well that's why he fell off and now wow. that's why yeah. he's doing his I thing really but I guess he got on like drugs yeah. and alcohol yeah. and um hmm. but you've seen it though everything. have uh like all these content creators now are in these movies nowadays that have been like content creators for like 10 years like we talk about have you seen Roadhouse with like Jake Gyllenhaal the UFC fighter Conor McGregor right you know that that has like a lot of them uh, from before, so it's pretty yeah. crazy to see like now they're in movies and they're yeah. making something. So wait, I'm oh, sorry. Like, so you're saying like, what do you mean content creators are in, in that movie? Or well, like sorry, is that what, or like yeah, because you didn't think sorry. about it when we we're younger. Because they're like, just so oh, famous should, now. Oh, okay, yeah, there's like status yeah. was like psh. okay, they're just so famous. Yeah, they're. Yeah. Uh, did you guys watch the new Roadhouse? I did. So did you, okay, so they're like like was there YouTube creators like you like Mr. Beast in there like not not no. him, not him but I'm saying like similar to what what he does yeah like you'll see them all in the movie as yeah, well and they're like acting like you won't even tell because they act like this totally different and they don't promote it 
Okay. So it's like a, just a random guy a that you, you're like, oh, I know that guy because okay. I watch his stuff. It's like, yeah. it's cool to see someone not be so uh, yeah. aggressive with like, oh, look at me. I'm doing something cool. Instead of what did like, you think yeah. of the movie, by the way? I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah? Just because like, I've actually seen Jake Gyllenhaal's like worth ethic to get prepared for the movie. For like sure. I've actually gotta, watched his oh, workout yeah. training. He's, 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 he's a good actor. He's so. very yeah. strong at doing yeah. Yeah. like... Um, and then Conor McGregor. His commitment. So yeah. Conor McGregor. Work. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yo, your daddy told me he's going he to get me to clean you up, boys. I you saw like, the clip. This okay. Energetic, dude. It's yeah. yeah. changed okay. for me. I, you, so I'm guessing you saw I it. I have not seen it yet. Dang I've it. only seen the original I, one. That's I, why I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Didn't, but now so, I know I have did see the preview or something because yeah. I know what you're talking about. Did there. you go to the theater or is it on Prime? If it's I saw it's on Prime. Okay. I saw it on Prime. You should definitely check it out. You bring up the old one, you know. Oh, God. Patrick okay. Swayze, Patrick, man. Patrick Swayze. Oh, gee. Dude, absolutely. So yeah. it's it's kind of cool. It has its like own modernized finish or reduction they in the movie. But updated it. How, yeah. are the, how are the fight scenes? So, yeah, it's a little like I used to play uh, like fight fighting games like UFC on like the Xbox or something. So it's kind of a little bit closer to that because it's, you know, some of the scenes they do where it's all slow motion and sped up. Okay. And then oh, some okay. some that it go like crazy hitting. It's like, oh, that's a little bit CGI. Oh, a little too much. Oh, okay. Really? Okay. Oh. okay. But I there's, a, see, wait, there's CGI in a fight scene? Fight well, scene? I don't know if it's CGI, but it looks but, it's edited like a gaming oh, thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think about that sometimes with yeah. newer mm. movies. It's uh, that might be a little too much. Yeah. Like a guy just picks up and flying, you're like, oh, like, well, okay, well, perfect, perfect example of too much today is uh the John Wick series. John Wick one is awesome. Mm, yes, John Wick great two is John Wick four is and John Wick three. Dude, he's like turns into a superhero. There's yes, these yeah. jackets that are just impenetrable. Like you yeah. can shoot those forever, and they just don't get. When I just I said know. that, that's kind of what came to my mind as I was yeah. thinking about that. The John Wick. Like, that John aren't Wick. they making a five now? Look, I love the movies. Obviously, yes. like, they're great movies yes. still. But I mean, that's a long. Great example. From though. from one to four, they've uh, they've they've leaped quite a bit. They yeah. keep saying he's gonna die, but Dude. no, there's always that. Yeah. Thing like in even the, even like I think was it the yeah. third one where is the third one where he's fighting in New York City at the it, hotel, uh, like and he's damn near like uh, shadow it, like, figure, hundred. literally, where he's going and like through these alternate alternate dimensions almost, where he's getting like. From downstairs to upstairs when he's fighting that guy in that in in that hotel. God, I can't is that, is remember that. that scene, but it's probably yeah. If it's in there. I swear he makes him seem like he's like the yeah. boogeyman, literally, yeah. where he's just like okay, and you're like yeah. one of those. You're like you're done. what? You're done, bro. It's, yeah, it's just that's when I was. I, was, I just was remember for me a little bit. He can Take close his eyes so and many shoot. And that one. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to count the bullets in that movie because it'll leave you disappointed. You're like, wait, that's yeah, too much. Oh, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Yes. As we get into this, hey, Sorry. I always try to think if you, do you guys remember in Roadhouse they had the mechanical bull? Do they have the mechanical bull? I do don't they? think so. Do they? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't remember. Well, because I think the at Cowboy Jack's downtown Minneapolis, that bull they had, I'm pretty sure it was from Roadhouse. That was the bull they had. Hmm. You heard that story for real? Like, really? Yeah, it was from like one in of the, the big original movies. one with Patrick from, Swayze. Yeah, right. Yeah. It was from the one of the big movies. It was in the bar and like because they when they first got that bowl at Cowboy Jacks they did it but I used to write it all the time they don't got it no more I got so into it that like hmm. I was so good that they would have it on the top speed but when you get whipped from it on the mat yeah. dude, I would get gashed I would be bleeding like every single time it was the guy trying to tell you hey man this is for women only <laughs> And so he's like, please stop, stop like, getting so. on the bull ride. That's a whole yeah, different right. story. So that's how right. I got I've one. seen those clips yeah. where it's like so you intentional. that bull? Jeez. Dude. Well, yeah. But to Sean's point, as I being a king. strength, like riding that bull, dude. Yeah. It definitely. Yeah. Because really they would kick that up for me. Yeah. But, um, as they should. As they should. <laughs> and then uh, I always think about the Peter Griffin with Roadhouse. 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 Peter Griffin. <laughs> oh, Roadhouse. I like that one. That, that's one of the funniest. Well, that. Family, guy, family, multiple? dude, Family Guy is multiple just ones. Multiple so episodes. crazy how long it's been on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so many episodes, so many series. Yeah, still Grit. getting it. Let's keep it fresh. So, and weird. that's why it's kind of have to be relevant to like what's happening in the world today because it just keeps going yeah. on. Yeah, like South Park's been on. doing it forever. Family Guy, but I'm pretty sure Simpsons is like old as me. <laughs> yeah, eighty <laughs> was it eighty nine was the original or eighty eight was there? Like, was there? I don't remember the original one. Yeah, it's like it's. Oh, it's, uh, so forever. much has changed too. It? If you watch one of their first episodes, yeah, but they still um, still be doing it. Dude. Yeah, maybe uh, it's probably changed like 
There it is. A real 19, year. 1989. 1989, December 17th. Close wow. to my birthday. Yeah, look at those although images. It, but it does wow. say it began in 1987. Although it says, yeah, it began in the cartoon in 1987, though, as a short. Oh. And then, I've actually seen that before. Then it looks like it started broadcasting on Fox in 1989. Okay. Oh, I wonder that that picture must be the, from the short. And Dude, then it started regular yeah. in 1990. Yeah do, you, oh, so. do you look, yeah. do you remember what they used to look like? Yeah. Yeah, and what they, so sa- and what they sounded like too. You know, most most um, uh, well, a lot of uh, TV shows that came out were actually just from a short thing. Like well, I yeah. just found that out about uh, Workaholics. That literally was from a clip. Uh, well, they they filmed it themselves, and uh, it's the three of them and one of their brothers. Yeah, but they filmed that, and then somehow in the works, the network was like. Based off that, hey, would you guys want to try a full episode? They did a pilot. So oh, that, yeah, that's cool. So that clip got them notarized. That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, same thing with South Park. You know how they started off real small, of course, doing their stuff, their yeah. animation, and then growing. Yeah. And yeah, same thing. Everyone starts in the garage, yeah. sort of, sort of thing. Yeah. Everyone starts in the garage. You guys, yeah, you, you, guys, you, guys, you, you guys start somewhere it. along you the way. Start somewhere. Yeah, you, you guys know? start somewhere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I want to talk about our yeah. story, but we're gonna have to save that till next one. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Next week, dude. The week had just ended, man. This is like the craziest and most impactful weekend. You got made a fourth by West Show. That's a big weekend. We, we, had, uh, we had what? But Saturday ooh, is ooh, May 4th, ooh, ooh, ooh. obviously. And then, of yeah. course, Sunday, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, oh, so, one of the best days of the year. For, I mean, for two people, that could be you know the best weekend ever right there. <laughs> no, that's very true. One, I'm sorry. For one person, that's the, the best two days ever. Yeah, absolutely. Star Wars and tacos. Just think of uh, May 4th, you're at the bar, you got your lightsaber. You're going into Cinco de Mayo with your lightsaber. Wow. Uh, and your Mandalorian mask. That's wild. Absolutely. So don't worry. I'll cut wild. it myself. <laughs> I'll Start cut it myself. Ding. <laughs> this, this is, is the way. way. What's the sounds of it? <laughs> that was, well, that is, that's good. That was good. Yeah. I used to do it when that's I was a kid. Imaginary. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I was going with like a sword yeah. sword. Yeah. I lost it. Did you ever see the video? I wish I could remember what, how it was created, but there's a video of the someone who created the sound of the lightsaber. That'd and be it was, cool. It was something so I simple. I don't remember what the I didn't see that. It was. it was so simple. Well, didn't. if you think, okay, so now it's so much easier to make the sounds because they used to, in movies, they had to do the sounds to make them. Like, yeah. Uh, right. They would have just have to do different things to make sounds. We, ta- we talked about that one time and you try to... What's it? What? What's the, uh, the job? No, I can't called, remember, but just... Recreate or something general. like that where... It's like helicopter sound. They have uh, drumsticks and they beat on the bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would yeah. have to make everything. Yeah. No, and now we like, have the yeah. sound bites. Sound bites. Sound, sound bites. So much stuff. It's already created. You see that though? Yeah. He, it's from a 35 millimeter projector and a 70s tube TV. Somehow he got wow. the sound of a lightsaber. How crazy! Somehow he's like, you know what? This could be futuristic. These two together makes yeah, that this, is, this, wow. this non-exist, this non-existent weapon that no one's ever heard before. Creativity. That's right so there. cool. Nice. That is Weird actually yeah. Yeah. that's like a smart fact. That's wow cool for this day. And for the May the Fourth be with you, dude. Yes. yes. Yeah. This a real, is a real cool video. I, like I saw like on Instagram and stuff. Yeah, man. I need. I wish. I need to invest in some Star Wars stuff. I want to start dressing up for May the Fourth because. You missed I, your chance this year? I didn't, I didn't see the day, but um, yeah. I remember like a decade ago where I didn't know what May the 4th was, so may the force be with you. But uh, <laughs> but um, I saw like, I was out, it must have been a weekend day because I saw Luke and like probably a half dozen stormtroopers. Oh, that's yeah. I got a picture with them because I'm, it was nice out, I'm in a uh, beater and um, I got a picture. Just a beater. I was asking yeah, them, they're yeah. like, yeah, it's uh, every May the 4th. Yeah, every May the 4th. And then I was like, started looking for it. And then with the memes and stuff, when May 4th comes, you see yeah. all the memes. And Were you in, you said you were in Northeast? Yeah, I was just at okay. Northeast Bar the first time. And I'm like, that is really cool. They do that. Yeah. yeah Especially people that dress up like full throttle. Like, mm-hmm. I would love to see a Mandalorian come out through the bar. Yeah. Oh man! Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, full. I haven't seen up, it like, yet. Cool co- yeah, they had a cool uh, oh. cosplay or something. Yeah. Yes. Like sick. a legit one. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. are. I love the crossplay. Like some people take it to the extreme where oh they need gosh. to, where it's so cool and good. You know, like. You ever gone to Comic Con or something? I've like always that? wanted to. Yeah. So. Like a San Diego Comic Con would be like the, yeah. that's like the, oh, you know, yeah. the, the mecca, I guess, of seeing the cosplay. Shut, co- yeah. down, shut right? down, basically, because. Yeah. This thing's so big. I would like to go to that. I don't so, know what I would wear, so but awesome. I think yeah. I would I would try to build, I think, either like a really cool Tron suit. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You would have to. You have to. If you got to go, I got to go Tron or yeah. try to like, 
if it takes me two years, build some really cool iron giant suit. That oh, would be sick I'm sure. I'm too. sure. I know someone has done that before, but dude, yeah. I, I would like that. Would be the one I had cool. to go with yeah. the iron giant. Things are yeah. getting easier to make that stuff too, like yeah. 3D printing and stuff. Gengar up here. True. True. Yeah, true. Dude. That's a small one, right? Yeah. Yeah, but people print out like the cool uh, Iron Man masks. Yeah, th- or even their suits all three D, and then they'll do a three D printing of that. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. Yeah, dude, my cousin told me actually the funniest story ever about that because she went to San Diego and literally the hotel she checks in at, the guy's dressed up as something oh, for yes. Comic Con. <laughs> well, That's man. awesome. So, but anyway, she a job said too. at one yes. point every single person on the street she was at was dressed up. Yep. And then and then finds out oh it's Comic Con. Yeah. But she's I was like, like you don't know like, what's, like, what's going, going on? on? Dude, I love that. It's so for funny. Her. Love so that. I have never been to one, but I've been outside one, like driving through, and it is really cool because it, it's like convention center and every there where around it, everyone's dressed up. It's outside, it's at like gas station that everyone needs to go to, you know. It's just yeah. So yeah, dude, it's yeah. pretty cool. But being inside would be a whole yeah. other oh story. Yeah. So I, cool. That actually happened to me just this year was I was going to a art show. I got like tickets for it. And yeah. um so I go inside and there was like everyone was dressed up and I'm like, where's my event at? I didn't know the convention center was that big, but it was so I was so funny. I was like, what? They're like, damn, that guy. What the heck happened here? Oh, was I yeah. supposed to dress up? Because <laughs> you see every superhero, like from every movie or yeah. cartoons you watch. That's great. It's usually the opposite effect in movies, you know, where the person's dressed up, but no one else is. So right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You got to experience nobody else's. <laughs> and yeah. he's traumatized. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's... He's like, I miss my calling. I miss my calling. <laughs> I, that's what really made me realize. I'm like, yeah, I would love to do that. I'm a nerd, so yeah, I would think it would be I'll, fun. I'd dress up. What would I? Who would dress you, who up would you as? go as? Yeah, probably. Man, I need to get back in shape. I'd probably be like um, Rambo, of course. Okay, it's a good option. So I maybe, I, I maybe the credit, guy maybe yeah. you yeah. can go as the guy Rambo killed first, but <laughs> you know, Sean's um, got to work out. He's got to have the yeah. shirtless, you know. Yeah, or <laughs> yeah, there's a few I could yeah. probably oh, do. Gumby. Kobe, <laughs> that's a throwback. <laughs> throwback. That's funny. Kobe was great. How about you, Josh? I would. Uh, I don't. I w- if I would go, I'd probably just go kind of regular dressed, and I'll give credit to anybody else that does it. Like I just, I commend anybody that can put the time in. Like I'll be there giving hoots and hollerings, but you know, I, I, hoots and hollerings. I can't. I can't great. dedicate. The, if I could ever dedicate the time with how life is for me, I would love to. But. To take on that project would be insane for me. That is so. a lot of time dedicated. You're up, yeah, for sure. That's why I'm, it's so cool to me just to see it because I have so much like respect for that a passion that passion they have. Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. You talked about like what uh like what the sound bit was or something, and it made me think of like the biggest one, like the voiceovers back in the day. Like the most iconic one to this day is Halo. Like as at least, at least what I say, like mm. when they did those voiceovers, like double kill, oh, triple kill, okay, killtacular, you know. Oh, that's a good. That's what a really Mortal Kombat. Whoopee. That's well, a really yeah, that one. is too. Dude, I'm thinking Star like, Wars. Like, so Star, Star Wars, Wars is your credibility. What about Star mm. Star Wars narration? James Earl Jones, yeah, for, bro. Uh, for uh, Darth Vader. That's the ultimate. Uh, that's the ultimate dude, voiceover. Uh, Take us away with it. I can't. Please, it's justice, dude. It's like, <laughs> oh man, Luke. I am your father. Eh, nah, what? How would it go? You go. You got one? I don't. I can say, you? Can you guys I do your? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Good to be I, do, I, I don't have it. Go. Because like, you I take I, the mask off, right? Yeah, if I'm taking the mask off, it's it, Luke. I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's the <laughs> white guy. <laughs> I can do that guy. Yeah, I, 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 I can do him. <laughs> oh, I'll, do, I'll do the. I'll do the actual actor. <laughs> hey, Luke, it's me, your father. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I'll do him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I can't God, do James Earl Jones. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude. Can, can you do at least it. Yoda then? Well, oh, yes, I can. Try, I will. Oh, try. It got better, but it's still terrible. It's pretty good. friend you are. That's good. We learn together. Yes. No, you're Whoa, like, like, going that, you're going going that that um, bait. 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 Yeah, <laughs> what you did before. You did, you did go to bait. <laughs> Uh, that's always so funny. When try, you're try again. Now, now I went Bane too. Yeah. Wow, I want to go Bane, but it's really soft. Oh my god, like, oh, he makes Lord of the Rings. Uh, what's uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, why is it Frodo? Frodo? Yeah, Frodo. No, no. not uh, what's his name? Gollum. Gollum. Yeah. Oh, Gollum. but why is it so? Why is it so easy to do a voice on your own? If you get, uh, 
do you always think you sound good and it actually is just terrible the entire time and then now you're trying to like reproduce it and you're like oh it's always been bad okay. crap <laughs> it's just like singing in the shower you think you're good i know i know i'm not good at singing that's it's for sure eternal monologue it's literally you up but, but like, I, I, I feel it. like i can hear my voice doing it outside my, and like it's okay and then yeah. now i'm trying to do it right now and it's like nope, when it's live not yeah, existing no, at all it's like different in the microphone it's like so well uh, yeah it's terrible why can't I do it? Jedi must. Yeah, I can't do it. I, well, so I you go gotta to find the force. You gotta find the, you gotta <laughs> find the force. It's within you. And then maybe you'll succeed. Well, I'll just sit here and meditate way too long. So the I don't think anyone wants to sit here for you know, two hours and me just meditate and try to find the right voice. <laughs> Unless wrong, wrong, maybe wrong. I'll just sit here. Just <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> the, the beer starts moving up. <laughs> Matt, pour me a drink. Oh, yeah. uh, hey, How remember? many times? Is it, who hasn't done that, by the way? What? You just sit here. Just <laughs> hoping. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, have to try. If everyone's you watch tr- everyone's yeah. tried. If you've, you've if you watch Star Wars, mm-hmm. everyone mm-hmm. has tried at one point in their life. Just go. Yeah. Hey, but to remember they got it. And just hope because was, remember, yeah. Silent Bob finally yeah. did it. This is the he way. always tried. He always tried, and then finally got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's funny. It <laughs> That's great. Dude. Yeah, yeah. And he was, wow. He tried. He first tried. Wait. Was that Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, or is that just? He <sighs> got me there. Bro. Or is that just Clerks there. like? Three. Mm. I think it might be a clerk's. I think it's a clerk's movie actually, but I can't. But it I don't remember. Movie, but it, it was James Bond, Bob Shape Back, or the other big production. I said, it's either Clerks Two, Clerks Three. It's definitely not Clerks One. But I, I what's the situation? What's the clerks. situation when he does the the the? Uh, the well, he, he, pulled, was, he gets a cigarette. He was what? trying. Though. Wait, it's Mall Rats. It's Mall Rats. There you, Is go. It a cigarette? There you go. Good Dang, call. you took us to a whirlwind. No, I, I'm there. It's, it was in Mall Rats. Well, though. Sorry about okay. that. Yeah, but which is the same cast? The same kind of cast, right? Like yes, crazy that was scene. That's why was, so you could get confused. He had to do it to like get the video. Get the, get the no, he had to get the VHS. Okay, he had to get the VHS that had the uh, the bad film of you know, the main <sighs> yeah. character. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, uh, yep. Brody. Yep. Dude, that's what it has one of my favorite scenes by the way in a movie is when Brody gets, hits. He has you know he gets punched. If you guys remember Mallrats. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't and seen Jay, a long time. We Jay and Silent Bob are in that movie. You know. Yeah. And Brody just comes up, he gets his nose punched, whatever. And Jane's like, they're like, or so what happened, you know? It's like an Easter bunny, whatever. And they go find the Easter bunny. They're like, hey guys, you gotta wait in line. And, oh. then, and then you say, This is for Brody, right yeah. in front of the kids, and just like yeah. beat the heck out of him. Hey. Dude, it's one of the oh, Wait, was it in it, Minnesota? Was that him? Was it that hit that uh No, no, the, no. Easter, bunny was random bunny. Easter bunny was completely innocent. Oh yeah. my yeah. god, yeah. Brody, Brody just didn't want to say exactly what happened. That, More yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah but like, it was filmed in Indina. Yeah, uh, yeah, Eden Prairie. Oh, Eden Prairie. Eden Prairie. Yeah, you're Prairie. right. Yep. Yes, yeah. you're Which right. Sorry was about like that. apparently the first mall in the United States. Wow, it's that's a, old, a it's very fact. old mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eden Prairie yeah. Mall. Wow, and that's also another Kevin Smith movie. Yep, yep. Kevin, yep. Kevin Smith movie. Yep, yep. all right. Well, of course. Point. Well, he's in, yeah, he's in it. But I'm saying yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's probably, a great I movie. thought they would have probably shoot it in Mall of America if they had the choice, but I guess if it's Mall America, I don't think Mall of America was around. No, it wasn't built yet. Yeah. It's funny because well, Mall America it just switched their name. It would have been built, but was it, it built? Wasn't no. no. Way. What when Mall Rats was filmed? When was Mall of America? Yeah, let's go. Or or are you saying as of all this mall type thing? No, it, well it just wasn't big. But yeah, it, but it Mall of America was always like the biggest mall. But well, yeah, because it expanded, it, yeah. and plus because it has that amusement park in the center. Yeah, it's crazy because they just ninety two, ninety two. Okay, and so what? Mall Rats is what like ninety, probably late nineties. So it's probably yeah. getting built and it wasn't there yet, you know. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. Mall Rats was like late nineties. Well, that was ninety two. So yeah. Mall Rats oh, nineteen ninety five. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, it could be. But it just uh, happens that the the mall they filmed it at, at is, the, I believe, okay. is the oldest mall yeah. in the U S. Yeah, makes sense for though. whatever reason. Probably a lot less busy. Yeah, nineteen ninety five, Eden Prairie Center Mall. Yeah, Eden Prairie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a cool man, dude! What a cool movie, though. What a great right. movie. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna Comic go back. Books, gonna um, go back and put out my list to watch now. So that's cool. Yeah. I've seen oh yeah, dude. Jason London is that movie? You guys yeah. remember uh, Jason London, of course, from Days and Confused. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, everyone's up in that movie. Yeah. Dude, I just saw. Oh, Jeremy London. Excuse oh. me about that. Jeremy. Oh yeah. And you confused Jason Mewes. <laughs> oh, what I say? Jeremy Mewes? Did you say Jeremy Mewes? I might have. Yeah, I think you very just possible. Con- combined them. Yeah. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah, it reminds me of uh this watch this movie called Fletch with uh Chevy Chase. Mm. What's the movie? It's, it's another old. old movie. Oh, it's old. Oh, I yeah. don't know if I know it. What's the movie? I'm sorry. Uh Fletch. Fletch. Oh, I don't yeah. know that movie. I was I was probably 
Oh, like, like what's that? What's Eddie Murphy like? Cop with the cop movie. Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills, Hills, Hills Cop, yeah. yeah. Kind of reminds me of that, but okay. I think it's a little bit... Okay. So is it from the 80s then? Or is it 90s? Yeah, like, 80s. What, 80s. Okay, oh, so, so, so that's what yeah, never, yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. But it, he does it so weird. Like, it's so funny because we talk about going back and looking at stuff. It's just the same concept. Like, the movie... Like, he's like in a car driving and you got the Terminator... Mer- Terminator music in the background, like oh. that, yeah. or something, you know? Yeah, so it was, it was pop culture. Terminator would be like, it was just pop culture. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, doom, doom, yeah, doom. The, like, the slow part, but that like when they're yeah. driving and it's like, yeah. oh, they're in a panic. Yeah, he's just driving a car to a house, and I'm like, right, why do I look like a f- watching yeah. Terminator? It, it could have been the same uh, music director too, like, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, every period of movies is gonna yeah. you get pop culture type. Yeah. The music's always changed it as time goes on. It's so talented. Yeah, yeah. You watch yeah. movies of certain decades, obviously, you're going to yeah, get those songs. So they hit, they hit songs. The so snippets. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Techniques, yeah. all that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Chevy Chase uh, did his thing. I'm a fan of him. I, cause I've never worked with him. <laughs> then I probably wouldn't be. <laughs> they, but, they do say <laughs> that. I, I love the vacation movies. I loved. What was the TV series he did, though? That's one of the few TV series I watched every season of. They went to college community. Oh wow! I didn't know. I can't I'm remember. Not sure. Yeah. Community? You guys never watched Community? Oh, I never watched Community. No. Oh, it's fantastic. I've heard fantastic. actually a lot. They're they're doing a uh, uh, revival of that, aren't they? No idea. No idea. They just every character in it's really good though. Like they kind of are u- unique, just like Parks and Rec. Who they're all unique isn't, characters? Isn't Dan? Is it Dan Harmon? Isn't that his Community? Is he Community? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know any of their names except for. No, uh, I thought he was the. I thought he was the main guy. The, the dude who the wrote. Writer? Maybe I'm sure. No, no, no. I don't make that There's up. Now not I gotta really look. Do it in it. Though. No, now I gotta. No, the, the main guy who who made <laughs> who uh, community. It? I want to. Now oh. I got. Now I gotta look that up. Yeah, I try to think the the um. I guess most main character I feel like would be uh, yeah. Look look at look that up. Who is it? Dan Harmon. Yeah, yeah it's, you're right. it's okay. Cool. Just want to make sure I gave it the right. I was like pretty sure it was him. Yeah, guy, he, he also created Rick and Morty. So. Oh, okay. oh, wow, that's yeah, nice. Well, I've never you know. seen. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, can you click on the cast of that too? Because I'm just. I know the dude had an E show, E T V show. Oh, okay. but. Uh, let's see. E V T show. He had an E show, like oh. on E. Oh yeah, Community. I don't. Doesn't look like Chevy Chase. Oh, Joel McHale. Joel McHale. Oh, and Who's then that? that's um, uh, uh, Donald Glover is uh, he's a rapper. What's his name? Child, oh, Child Gambino. Gambino. Child Gambino. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It took me a while to figure that out because I'm like, oh, I've seen him in other movies, of course. Dude, yeah. he's yeah. a completely yeah. different. When you have a yeah. 180. Yeah. Child Gambino is actually awesome and raw yes. and like, you're like, whoa, yeah. that's a bad dude. And then Donald Glover is so nice and sweet, innocent. Yeah. And you're like, those are two different. Yeah. Those, that's not, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Some yeah. of his yeah. first yeah. albums. I, I actually there. had well, to look him up. Yeah. And that's kind of, I got more into his music from watching community. Yeah. Yeah. I've been liking, I've been liking his music a lot. Yeah. But they got John Oliver in it, but he ended up getting a, um, I, I think he did the daily show for a while. Oh, Chevy Chase is in it. He's yeah. so old now. Yep. And like, then, um, he is. That, that, <laughs> Chase, that, I know. Ken, no. Ken, what's his name? Ken J- Jong. Oh yes. Bro, the doctor. He's so that's funny. Not, not the South Korea president. He's so funny. Yeah. He's very so funny. Hilarious comedian. And then, yeah, yeah. and doctor. And he's a doctor. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, that's what he was first. Yes. and then he's like, his parents always didn't like that he went to comedian. Oh, Crazy. that's yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. A big <laughs> thing for him was, was right. uh, what's it called? A hangover. The hangover. Yeah, absolutely. One and of the funniest scenes ever, dude. He talks Every about his uh, talks about his nude scene and how like he had to go full nude for the scene to make it like be funny or something. And he is kind of controversial because he was like, oh, this. Against my culture, <laughs> but it's got, it's gonna work. Popping out of the trunk, just do it. Such <laughs> a great because he's so crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. you're right. Wow. wow. Yeah, he's out the trunk over. and yeah. he's like, "What the hell?" Like, man, yeah, that's wild, dude. One dude wakes up on a hotel roof. Who, like, who's the just that whole night? Zach, Zach Gal- yeah. Galvanakis. Yeah. I've always been such a big fan of him, especially like between two firms. Oh yeah, dude, it's fantastic. Uh, his ideas are so different. And they work with him, and it's just so cool. Like, yeah. if, I don't know if you ever watched it. I have, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to watch that, dude. Everyone Some has because he literally are great. had um, he he did one with President Obama. Yes, he did one with Hillary Clinton. I mean, that's as big as you could get. Like, that's, yeah, that was a big. Like, he, but the best one though, I swear, was Jerry Seinfeld, which is crazy to get Jerry Seinfeld on. But he does it. Jerry Seinfeld doesn't even get to sit in the chair, and Cardi B had came out, and. 
It's like everything's about Cardi B and he just ignores Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, yep. <laughs> some, Dude, of yeah. buddy, some of them have gotten really great. mad, like get mad at him. And some of it's like maybe a, probably an act and stuff. I think that they're all, they're, they're, all, they're all aware. They're yeah, all they're, yeah, they're all on the on the joke. The they, Paul Rudd one yeah. was. Freaking. They do a couple of takes of him. You know, they yeah. make sure they get him right. And they're, yeah. But they're so yeah. good, though. Yeah. They're so good. Because I didn't know I didn't know if they're real or not at the beginning till like literally the last couple of years when he started seeing the um, outtakes. Right. <laughs> That's how I found out. But. It's like there's one that is like, how does it feel to be a very important actor? And the guy's like, well, you know, da, da, da. it's like, well, that would feel good if you were one. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, that, see, that's his joke. He's like you gave him a compliment. Yeah. Just a yeah. turn 180. It's like, yeah. Yeah, he does that. Dude. I love those. Oh. Yeah. Paul, yeah. yeah you know, I love when they be getting them back to it. Yeah. And they get them back, yeah. <laughs> Some of them. The Hillary Clinton was was funny. With it. it had like a bush right between her, and he's just ignoring her the whole time, and she's just getting pissed off. But Did, that is so hard. I never knew if this one was real though. Didn't when he there's a, the same one with Hillary Clinton. Yeah. And he presses the button. He's like, hold on, I gotta get a word for our sponsor. <laughs> yes. And yes. It plays it. That is real though. That it really happened. Really it, was like, it was actually a Donald Trump ad. It is. Oh, okay. that's, yeah. So yeah, 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 okay. that's yeah. what I, I never knew if that one was edited that way, and like someone just like, oh my gosh. Like, no, that's okay. Edited. So I didn't know if that she, one actually happened. She got happened. mad. She's like, I'm gonna walk off the show. But dude, you nailed it, dude. I don't Hammer know that. Okay, I didn't know if that was real, but I don't know. I thought it was just internet. No, that's part of the ad. That's great. That's part of the. And it's funny because she's like, so funny. Oh yeah, and she's thinking this ad's paid for her. It's like Donald Trump for president. It's so gold, dude. Yep. Way cold. to take it. It's cold blooded. Like yeah. that's just yeah, that's gold. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously it's probably different when you record for a long time and then it's only a snippet of it. It's like damn yeah. you use that, but they probably don't like that after it came out, but it's fuck it's it's sorry. That one was gold. probably like a one take that that was it. Yeah. There was like, okay, we yeah. get, we're gonna get our ad and uh don't tell her who it is and Let's get an honest reaction. Oh, yeah. It, well, <laughs> they, yeah, they that, waited till the end of the whole works, thing. If it works, the first take's gonna be the best. But yeah, and she's so p- politically but, correct. She's gonna try to. Oh well, that's not really fair. That's my opponent. In reality, she's like, "You son of a gun, yeah, you yeah. mother." Ugh, but that dude. that that whole one was more scripted than yeah. yeah. And then they came out with the movie, which was super cool. Too. Yeah, the what movie was the movie. Oh, right. Uh, it's the the it's like the whole movie how it start like they do uh, behind the scenes and like how he's <laughs> trying to do these movies so it's a lot more crazy and intense yeah. it's happening he had of a, a he basically they're gonna do film with someone but they had to like travel all over the country yeah. get there on time everything's yeah. going wrong yeah um for an example like they had somebody they wow. burst fills yeah. up the whole water <laughs> they, like the says room yeah. oh man got but, missed like flight yeah. got, yeah, but entertaining for sure. That was good. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Kind of like what we celebrated this weekend. We talk about May the Fourth be with you, but Cinco de Mayo, hey. Cinco de Mayo, man, salsa, oh. Cinco de Mayo. I'm telling, I'm waiting oh. for that. Yeah. I love, I love uh, Cinco de Mayo. It's one of the best holidays. I used to go like over um, South Side a lot. They had uh, big parades. Yeah, um, I can see that happening. Like in Minneapolis, that's our bigger Mexican population, so it's. Fun like every. Whoa, dude! There's you mean Latin X population, bro? <laughs> or wow. Right, you're right. You're right. But, Whoa. but but no, no, it'd be Mexican because it's her, Whoa, this Mexico dude. is. Independent Are you telling day. me a Mexican what to call them? Wow, you're a white man's telling Mexican well, be, what to call Mex. Okay, okay, Hispanic, Hispanic, sure. man. Wow. Okay, well mm. then the no, best no, term would be sure. Mex, because mm-hmm. so we can end just with that. Just want to make sure that. A yeah, white man is telling the brown guy what to call the brown people. Just want to make sure that's what we're told here. Go well, ahead, white man. Is that well, right? Is that right? Uh, I don't know. I did. I don't, <laughs> says, I, I don't, I don't know. I think it's just a touchy subject. Latin, Latin people is like a whole thing. It's not Latinx, know. by the way. Yeah. It's obviously Mexican. Oh, they, yeah. Yeah, I'm just giving you a hard time, clearly. Yeah. Because Latinx is ridiculous, and anyone who ever says that is an idiot. Yeah. That, so that's why. You're the yes. one who was saying it. So it was a joke. everything adds up. Yeah. The whole world's back on. Uh, it was a joke culture. that you didn't grasp. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, I had to do that. Too. Was it? Was it a joke? Sorry. Speaking oh, of jokes, side. have you guys ever like the had this? Like I've seen him in uh, like cartoons and stuff, and I finally saw one in person this year. It's a sombrero that's like a chip, and then they got the guac, yes. or even just a sombrero that has the dip. So you can just break off a chip. Get oh, this. Oh wow! Obviously, it's really cool for the first couple. So the whole hat's it's like a, a chip. chip. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of neat. That's like but I've been seeing that. Hot, wait, but I feel like I've seen. I saw that a long time ago as a kid. Something I've like I've just never like seen that. it in person. Oh, I've, I've never seen, seen it in person. Yeah, okay, yep, sorry. Cool. Like never cartoons seen yep. and stuff. Okay. Like, yeah, I've never seen it in person. But that's I mean, how everything is. Like a uh, cake, you know, it looks so cool. But then you know, oh, the slice of the cake. You got to yeah. go. Well, I mean, the cake's cool. 
But then you start taking slices, you know. You I look like someone that some, went to cake so, school. Dude. Dude, my best Bake me a cake, my, baker. My best my best uh, single to my though was actually one of the years when they were having crazy parties over Southside. Yeah. And I wore a sombrero. Oh, oh nice. Dude, I got appropriation. appropriation. <laughs> Very nice. Well, Cheers to that, man. Cheers. You owe me a sip. I was literally <laughs> oh, I, I, was gonna with that. <laughs> I was literally I was literally um dating a Mexican girl and one of the things we did was her family's Party. No, it's not cultural. Yes. No, Good no. job, Sean. You got to save. In the yep. key book of cultural appropriation, if you have the same uh, <laughs> background. Dude, or, I'm, I'm in it, it everywhere at all. Yep. I don't know. I'll be, oh, sorry. So, I've had a blessed life where I've got to go to a lot of fiestas and blessed, all that. Blessed, Yeah. Dude. I just wish I could... Learn how to salsa dance better because look like you did a good move there. He's trying. I love he's, that trying. he's trying. He's trying. No, dude, there's a lot. Here's yeah, a big question for you. It's all in the hips, man. You right. let's see your quite cold quote sentence. Sorry, it's <laughs> all in the hips. Like, what's all is, in it, hips. is it see? Corona or Modelo? Which one are you grabbing? Oh, Modelo, baby, just because they got the gold flakes. You guys do Modelo. You guys do Modelo. It's, mo- it's always Modelo yeah. time. Uh, yep. When, we, the, when me and Josh were younger, though, turbo. we would drink um Corona. With uh, Turbo Corona is called a lime, uh, lime, uh, Bacardi lime. Yep, or Bacardi, Bacardi Le- Limon. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. So you pop the tap off. It's called a Turbo Corona. You put the Bacardi Limon halfway up to the, you know, tip whatever is left right right there. It's like a shot. Put the thumb in. Just turn it around for like thirty yep. seconds. Squeeze the lime. Put it in, and it's like. Very a good. Really good drink. Very good. Okay. Yeah. And it's like a shot in a beer, and you're like, wow, this is so yeah. good for it to be that way. I can't yeah. drink Bacardi at Lamont anymore. <laughs> well, well yeah. me either. Yeah. But in the beer, yeah. it's like a, le- a lemony fa- flavor, like a citrus with that lime. So it's just like, oh, I got a citrus strong beer. Yeah. Where's you do that? that like when you're early 20s. Yeah. Very yeah, see, early. I remember Very after, my, uh, after my prom, <laughs> dude, I got too drunk off of Bazooka Joe's, which is Bacardi Lamont and uh, Red Bull. So oh, okay. that's what they call them. To this, to this day, I will not drink Red Bull and or Picard uh, yeah. Lamon. Yeah. And I can't do I Jaeger. I can't do Jaeger long. anymore too. Just the, Jaeger bombs. I, I, no, I just can't do Jaeger Meister because the smell, like, dude, it, it, yeah. it's Flash one of those. Max. That was one of those high school things, yeah. like, dude, like, can't I can't smell it anymore. I just can't do it. <laughs> yeah. bro. It's like black yeah. licorice is the death. I can drink. I can drink Jaeger straight now. Nasty. You guys remember the first clip of like it's the first like bro clip to ever come out. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger bombs, we at the club. We're yes. taking Jaeger bombs. Yeah, oh, dude. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, wow. what's your friends doing? Yeah. We're taking Jaeger bombs. Wow. Yep. Dude, yep. Yep. that's when Jaeger bombs was like a real thing. And we're, yeah. dude, I remember listening to that. The guy at the party is like all broed out, you know? Yeah. He, he's like Jersey Shore before Jersey Shore. Yeah. He's like, yo, me and my friends, we hit the club, you know? You know what we're going to order? Jaeger bombs. Jaeger bombs. Dude, <laughs> that was us. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> no, no. literally. Yeah. I got so burnt out on those. I couldn't, I can't do yeah, it. I can't. Same. Yeah, no, I, I know. I hear you. I can't. Dude, yeah, I feel like I, I get a heart attack doing Red Bull and some liquor. Yeah. Like oh, three or four it. of them. I'm like, what? Yeah. One from Red Bull Yeah, so Red Bull Vodka. Yeah. yeah. I don't do that no more. Yeah. Unless it was a very special occasion. Yeah. Like, that's all there is to drink. <laughs> I just won't do I can't do Red Bull. I can't. Dude. Yeah. Dude, when you're younger, you could inco- endure so much. I know. Like, yeah. you drink Not now. No more. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I wake up and be like, yeah, let's go to church. I've been asleep for three hours. You got, <laughs> I got that generational <laughs> trauma. <Yep. laughs> generational trauma. <laughs> I gave it, it to myself. Like it. it feels like it. <laughs> feels like generational trauma. So, like, everyone's it's agreeing on Modelo. All, it's all Modelo. It's all Modelo. Yeah, yeah, all agree three on Modelo. is great, but yeah. for yep. Cinco de Mayo, like you yep. said, yes. staple beer, Modelo. Yep. You got to yep. get the gold flakes. Yep. Always. Gotta Modelo get flakes. or Turbo Corona, which wasn't a oh, gotcha. option. The Turbo. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. we all But Modelo for Modelo. traditional beer to come back to right. you, Matt. So Matt, I'm I know wrong. you're um, uh, me- Mexican, so what did you do for Cinco de Mayo? I was finally able to drink. Oh yeah! Nice. I took off. Uh, if you guys remember, I took off the uh, the month of April to yep. be uh, yeah. so- sober. Full thirty well, I days. Did, well, I did. A, yeah, I did the uh, the California sober. You probably, uh, probably feel yeah. good. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. I felt great. California yeah. sober. Yeah. Is that the, that like yeah, California sober? NA, exactly. I was, like I was still smoking, uh, but, I wasn't, yeah. but I wasn't drinking anything. Well, it is legal, but uh, of course, yeah, that's so crazy, dude. You bring up that's a good thing. Like people think oh, I felt like great. doing cleanses or like stepping away for a bit it's actually really good for yourself and uh, to have the discipline yeah. you know we'll cheers and celebrate it right now absolutely man. cheers to that yeah anybody yeah, that else is. doing the same yeah, yeah. <laughs> cheers to that i guess i get against that situation mm-hmm. like everything situational yo but. get sober cheers <laughs> cheers <laughs> Welcome back to drinking every day. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'm back in the man. trenches. Back Yo, if you're trenches. tired of sobriety, you want to, you're tired of it, come drink with us. Cheers. I remember. <laughs> if you want to uh, get sober, we'll cheers to that too. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, it's, you su- it's super important because you like the liver is the only organ in the body to regrow and restore. So wild? it's so important to give that a break. So many people I've talked to that it really can, if you don't take time to re- try to restore it and stop throwing ultra processed or alcohol or just these bad things, by the time you get older and before that age, you know, it's just going to be problems, you know? So it's yeah. like, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I recommend was cool. you to have that self-discipline because you're going to be able to do other things with it. It, was, it was a good discipline. It sucks definitely, you know, because there's plenty of time yeah. when you're like, you're just doing your normal routine where you're like, okay, I could be drinking right now because why not? Or yeah. like, like, like you're working, you're, you're like, yeah. oh, I could have had a beer. I'm driving a car, could have had a beer. No, especially like <laughs> when, you, when you're car cooking. Tour. Like, when, like when I cook, it's always nice yeah. to have a, have a beer. Oh, yes. You know, or, or like always. with your meal. Or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. You, you go out or, uh, yeah, especially, yeah. When, I'm, especially when, I'm, when I cook. I love yeah. just drinking. Yeah. I agree. And that's yeah. one of my fun things. Yeah. And then so like normal yeah. thing, now I can't do it. I'm like, dang, man. So you gotta have the, you gotta have the little discipline every now it's, and then. It's that FOMO, you know, fear of missing out sometimes. Yeah. But in, in, in relation, yeah, it's it's just so enjoyable. Like I can commend you. Like yeah. taking having a beer with a nice depending on the dish, at, for dinner time. Yeah. Especially when you're cooking at home. Yeah. With, yeah. with the FOMO, I know I've like stopped drinking for a month, many years, many years. I do that. Are you a but goal? I'm a, someone or that like goes, now because oh, what? You said many years ago? No, like yeah, many before years, he was I 21. Did it. Before no. he's 21. <laughs> no, so many- once you hit 21, you came back from sobriety. That's right. No, just many years. I didn't drink for one month. Okay. So I, but I like being out, and I noticed that the hardest thing was if you go to a bar, oh, yeah. is you start noticing how much people be touching you a little too close, yeah. hugging up on you, yeah, right? talking Just touching way too, too loud. <laughs> Just um, too close. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> and then the, the way the the breath smells of like shit. Oh my alcohol. gosh. Like, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, so, and it's a great for to others. Be sober. Like, no, yeah. We're, I yeah. ran into people where their pores, like, it is like, like a circumference area. Like, I'm not even close to you. And, yeah. bro, like, I can tell you have a bender for like three yeah. days. It's mm-hmm. kind of crazy. Like, even if you only had like one or two drinks when you go out, like, that's what I would I'd pretty much do now. But, you don't you're notice older. it. You can't really do that you don't, stuff. But you don't right. notice you like that smell. Yeah. Like if you have no drinks, if you yeah. have zero, you smell it. Yes. You see more. Yes. But In the whole bar, you can actually smell the alcohol. You make a great point. Like, hey, when you're not partaking in the drinking you know you get that sense yeah, yeah. and people are going to be a little bit more like wow that guy is a lot more unbalanced or untuned or just like really loud doesn't understand that there's a bubble here there's all walks of life it's like yeah. uh, even when some people sober i mean, when i work retail people are like hey man <laughs> you know you gonna show me this phone today it's you like, get that and you, of course you get the uh why are you why are you not drinking anymore? Sort of questions. Oh yeah, Seriously. yeah. People are always like, like, why are you not drinking? Because I don't want nerd. to. Nerd. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't want to right now. Like they're subjectifying you to something. That's what Those I say to you. Those people. Huh? No, that's honestly, a, that's what I'm saying to you. Huh? Honestly, it was just because I was lazy about working out. So yeah. I was like, let me just lose some weight and nice discipline. Well, you know, <laughs> it's, it's so looking good on you, Matt. And uh, yeah, now that you're yeah. back, you know, we're gonna we're gonna bring you back to normal. You know, gotta be ready for paddleboarding. Yeah, you gotta get sure. ready for paddleboarding. paddleboarding. Season. Big summer's facts. right around the corner. That's right. Big facts. Speaking around the corner, man, we got a special coming. Special. Yep. Oh, that's special. true. Right yeah, around true. the corner. Yep. Yeah. Get to it. It's gonna be something crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It'll be right about the start of paddleboarding season. Yeah. Special. A little bit before uh, Memorial Day. Give or take. Memorial, yeah, you're right. right yeah, around yeah, there. Absolutely. Yeah. Too far away. Yeah. Uh, and then we just had a, like a month ago, like or whatever, uh, the first su- couple sun- sunny days in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I've never like Minnesota. It's different, and you've been here for a while, Matt. So I don't think you contribute. If it's the same in India, Indiana where you lived, I'm curious if you had the same relation when because just because we live in a four season state, and when when we get good sun and the, the weather's like 75 degrees, 80 degrees, and it's the first like sun of like spring going into summer. I'll drive and I just see like 40 people out walking, riding bikes. It's Absolutely. like everyone's outside yes. their home doing stuff. It's like kind of exhilarating yeah. too. Everyone's getting out of that sun yeah. again. You can get out of your house. Yeah. You can yeah. go live in the world again. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to be cooped yeah. up. Cooped up. Yeah. 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 This, Which everyone's we were fortunate, by the way, yeah. in Minnesota this year, yeah. was, winter was not bad. Yeah. Winter's yeah. not that bad at all. But we did have a couple of winter. Yeah. Yeah. We had some weird stuff, but was, yeah, that's going to be nice to have these 70s and above weather coming in a couple weeks. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I've talked to people who, like either moved to Minnesota and been lived here for years now, or people who uh, moved for years to a different state. Yeah, and yeah, they they we talk about that exact thing is summer means because so we much more seasons, to us, right? Because it's it's so hard here in the winter. You earn it. 
you earn it. Yeah. We have seasonal and depression you're not, like crazy. Um, you're not taking for granted. Everybody's on their best behavior. Like I'm talking, everyone's nice and excited and happy because it's just like, it's not an everyday thing for us. So we value it, you know? Yeah, those days are great. But that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, similar like, out in Indiana. It, it, yeah, that's what very, I was trying yeah, to say. Yeah, very Thank similar you. where we're yeah. going to get so those days. At least where I was from in, yeah. in, in Northwest Indiana. So it's probably You'll anybody in a four season yeah. state, you and know, like, where you covered up. Yeah, because yeah. we had the lake effect. So you get those days where, the, yep. where you get the sun and after the crummy days, you're like, wow. Yeah. It's, this is nice. This is nice. This is why I live out here. So this is why. And the summer months out here is exactly why you're like, okay, it's really nice out here. You get all the lakes. You get to enjoy it. Yeah, it sucks that you wish it was longer, of course, but yeah. it makes you really But you get more of a personalized lake. Yeah. Not everybody's crowded to one specific lake. It's mm-hmm. like every city has like three lakes, maybe two. You know, we're a land of 10,000 lakes. So it's like if you like fishing, which is really good catching freshwater fish, then like out there catching sharks or tuna and stuff like that. But like eating some fried fish. Sorry to take it there. But it's just like, damn, I'm so excited yeah. that, that we're right exciting. around the corner. Heck yeah. Yeah. And it brings yeah. everybody out, man. So I like to find, I always summer. like to find the lakes. Sorry to cut you off. Find the lakes that are um, typically have like no motors. Yes, those no are, motor those, lakes. Those yeah. are oh, great yeah, ones. For, yeah. for a paddleboard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just more peaceful, man. You don't, yeah. have, to, you don't have to worry about anything. Absolutely. You just chill out there. You can yeah. hear the motor miles away. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. The, boats, the boats be coming right up next to you, too. I've had that happen yeah. on some of the busier lakes. Yeah, I can yeah, see that happen. I'd rather paddleboard it on a calmer. Yep. Yeah. Guys. So, Matt, this has a little bit of history because this beer right here, uh, you know, we invited you to that Nintendo thing, yeah. Pokemon Con that we did. Sean, you saw that cool Pikachu car. Yep, yep, Dude, yep. Check it out because yep. it's like... What was it called? Uh, Pika Soul. Pika Soul. The Pika yeah. Soul. The yeah. owner had it. He has that famous Pokemon card, you know, Pika Soul. That's cool. It's got in there just like, dude, it looks just like a Pokemon card has the back and, you know, shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... We went to the brewery, and it was actually pretty cool because it just brings you back to nostalgia. Like, we got every Nintendo game from, like, Donkey Kong to 007, Mario Party to Mario Kart to Super Smash Brothers to Zelda to Mm -hmm. Tetris Attack. Love that. Like, they they had it set up great, dude. And, like, I got Gengar from there, of course, at one of the vendor stands. Shout out to him. But, like, we were like, hey, we got it get a beer. This is like one of their famous beers. It's a uh, Boom Island Brewery Company, right? Out in Manitonka. Okay. But Finn's Fog, New England IPA. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Super cool Finn's can, Fog. kind of like subtle. Yeah, delicate. I like the I like it a lot, actually. It's simple. And like we we tried it. Like I mean <laughs> we didn't try it, but we got it for that reason. This is bothering me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do the same thing. Profin. Hold one, baby. Dude, 6.2% alcohol. All right. Yeah. Full bodied hazy IPA loaded with juicy citrus and tropical fruit flavors. Like I said, man, Boom Island Brewery Company. Shout out to you guys. Uh, she gave us the recommendation, Finn's Vogue. Yeah. And it was actually in Minnetonka, not so it's the brewed Boom out, Island it's, in Northeast. It's, it's brewed yeah. out here. And I didn't even yeah. bring up the most important oh, yeah, part okay. of like going here, Matt. Like they had different beers. For Mario characters, like Sean got the what is it, the Princess Peach? Princess Peach. And Sounds then I right. got like Pebby, Peggy, uh, Peggy from Star Fox, who's like, oh, yeah, okay. you know? dude, that's yeah. cool. So that really like cool a really event. fun event. Yeah, uh, that was cool. Sean and I has a video of me like oh, demolishing what? these little kids yeah. that are playing me and like, <laughs> kids crying. Well, cheers, cheers and beers, cheers. guys. Well, right. Josh, won't you take that or or Sean right. starts off takes that. Uh, Take a drink. Tell me what you think. Mm. Wow. So New England IPA. Definitely a little bit different because I don't think I've had, we've had one on the show. It's like a mix between a normal beer and a hazy IPA. So right in the middle. I'm going to go 6.4. Uh, it's actually pretty decent. 6.2, not too strong. I hope you guys have something close to that. So it's 6.4. That's your guy? No, I, I said 7-4. Seven, 7-4. Four. Seven, four. I'm so seven, sorry. Four. I thought you, I I thought you said 6-4. Really? Yeah, sorry, sorry. If I sorry. corrected it, it's 7-4. Okay. It is 6.2% percent Maybe I, yeah, yeah, maybe I had it in my head. Lot. I was looking at 6.2, maybe I heard. Yeah, maybe sorry, I buddy. said it. I don't know. <laughs> Times are tough. John, what Going a big forward. reaction. Huh. John, it's it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty strong beer. What you got? I might like, that six four is stuck in my head still. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go that six four. You're going six, six four. four. Whole right. point down. Let me try this Boom Island Finns Fog New England IPA. Take a drink. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. 
that's not too bad. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't like the yaft. <laughs> yeah, it's a hazy IPA after. That's when right? it hit me. That's yeah. literally what hit me. Yeah. Yeah, and you definitely you can taste that citrus after the end, big time. And for someone who might like that, uh, there's someone. There's definitely someone out there who likes that for sure. Obviously, mm-hmm. I'll give this a six six. Six six. six. Yeah. Nice man. That concludes it, man. Good guy. Yeah, well, Good job, Giants. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Shout out for the recommendation. Thanks, Blue Island Brewery. Uh, <laughs> we just landed on the airline. We, we, we just landed. landed. Ooh, hallelujah. AITA, baby. As Let's all go. honors. Shani. All right. Take it away. Am I the a hole for not buying special groceries? Special groceries. Okay. What does that mean, Matt? My son, 30, and his family decided to live the van life. This last list lasted about two weeks. Then my husband gets a call at 11 p.m. PM from my son. They are in Cali. The baby's in the hospital and they have no money. We send them five hundred dollars to get home. They drive all night to get here and my son and wife go to bed. Wait, what? They drive all night to get here and my son and his wife go to bed. We fed our granddaughter's breakfast. My son got irate because we fed them gluten. Mm. He expected us to go to the store and buy gluten free food for them all. I said we just sent them five hundred dollars and couldn't afford to go buy a bunch of food and that they should provide when they visit home. Yeah, they probably when they visit home. someone yeah. home. Okay. A huge fight ensued and they left. Wow. AITA for not providing that food. So, Matt, real mm. quick, is that mean so they gave them $500 there in Cali? Sounds like it. And then they awesome. allowed them to come over. They made them breakfast, but it was the wrong kind yeah. of breakfast, apparently, because it had gluten in it. Yeah, it's tough now because yeah. people really have gluten allergies. Right. Like, it's an allergy, so it's like... But is that on that the... Ain't their is that on the, is that on the grandparents? That ain't their right. responsibility. Right. So that that's a great point. It's like, you know mm. that they have uh, allergic reactions to gluten. You should be <laughs> communicating. You should say, like, hey, this is the food... Bre-. Like, somebody that doesn't yeah. know about gluten... And they're just a regular grocery shopping. They're not gonna know that they have to buy special what? food if you don't tell them. They don't know. It's their son. How old is the, son. How, how old so is the granddaughter? No, bad. but it was the granddaughter had the breakfast. But how do they like? They don't say how old the granddaughter is. Unfortunately, correct. That's it, a it, big like, one too. Because yeah. it just says the baby, and that's yeah. her writing. Is the, is the baby just because of the granddaughter? Oh, what, what? baby is yeah. eating? Exactly. His whole exactly. I don't know. This one, this uh, this one really bothers me. It's really. I don't so know, he's might, talking about need. his son that lives the van life, right? Yep. So probably not keeping a job. You know, yeah. a very mi- minimalist, right? Because that's maybe what you he's can. a social media guy. Social media guy, but Who knows? they got to send him money, and he has a family. That's tough, right? Yeah. Uh, how I wish I would knew how old the child was here. It's really tough. There needs to be more information here. Well, yeah, I'm, I guarantee if grandma grandparents are so in the life. To send their son five hundred dollars so bucks. they can get yeah. back from Cali. Yeah, they know they know what allergies the yeah. kid has. It's not that big a deal. I think the like, takeaway too the is, problem yeah, is the problem the is the fact that living the van life means these are like new age hippies. This is my problem with new age hippies is the fact that. But he's talking for entitled. his son. That's the that's the hard part. Is like the the dad, which is her son. Is getting mad, so it's not even like they know it's a kid allergen. They don't. Do they, Why was this never? T- you don't yeah. think the grandparents also, would not know? Well, though? You don't even know if it's an allergy. By the way, it doesn't even say allergy yeah, or anywhere not, in here. It doesn't say nothing All, he's about just, that. He's just mad because they got gluten free food and right. they didn't say anything. It's like, first off, like and then communicate. In, sorry, cut you off. Go ahead. No, you're good. Like communicate. Yeah. Like, so yeah. No, finish your. Uh, well, they said the baby is in the hospital and they have no money. So okay, how did the baby get there? Why was the baby in the hospital? How long was it in the hospital? And like, what are we well, doing? Well, they sent them five hundred dollars to get no, home. No, I understand, but why yeah. was it? Like, well, is that any yeah. relevance to the story at all? Because yeah. otherwise, Cause why do you even yeah. put it in there? Because you just said they just stayed over and the baby got fed gluten. Okay, what was that? What's the point of the hospital story? It's yeah, totally maybe just like, it's just why they they they. They went they needed the money. Life, okay, so they oh, went so to the hospital. They okay. had money. Yeah. So, so that's again, why so, they sent so again, but we have home. no idea what. Uh, they're sorry about that. It, there's it no allergies it, though. No, but I'm saying said, there's no uh, allergies though. No, no. So, yeah, I'm saying, so we're just we don't know like the hospital is it because the, the no. baby already had gluten and they couldn't get like what happened. Yeah. Like, and to why? be dependent on okay. like you have to provide food for your grandchild is crazy too. Yeah. It's like dude, we at least helped you out. Like they don't. They're not obligated to help you out at all at that age. You're 30. Like yeah. I get it, but like at this point, I'm throwing the hammer down and saying, no, you are no, not, you're not the AITA. You're not. Not? The sun okay. is. The sun is on a whole other yeah, level. Yeah. Because, dude, if, if the kid was in the hospital for that, 
you don't think this is discussable when he called for money? Like, oh, yeah, 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 it's the did she even did she even, did she even know hippie. did she even know that that the, the food fake she was feeding had gluten anyway? And it wasn't fake talked hippie. about. It exactly. seems like fake exactly. story. So exactly. you're gonna fake go hippie. right on the I'm side. Just, yeah. I'm just gonna go not the a hole. But also it needs more information, but yeah. not the a hole. Well, yeah, I would agree with you more information, but as far as this, from like, what I have, yeah, yeah. 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 not. I think I think uh, just because if, you shouldn't. If, uh, it doesn't say if grandma or grandpa's writing this story, but let's just say no, the grandpa would be writing this story if. The kid ended up in the hospital from eating gluten. Right. And so, so honestly, and they'd be like, oh, that's why he got bad. Here's the kicker. It really but, comes then, down to yeah. if you wanted the food and you got the $500, go get that gluten-free food. Don't yeah. expect me to have it just because you have the yeah. allergy. Yeah. That's not... I'm Absolutely. Not, that's, just, because I, like, just because I know you're allergic to peanut butter doesn't mean I'm not going to go like buy peanut butter still. Like, yeah. I'll just make sure you're not going to have any. Like, you need to... like, like it, Yeah, that's the thing. Is like, like You need to tell me your preconditions before you come over because I'm I'm used to living my life. In front of you know? you, yeah. Like, hey, I, I get peanut butter every week. At this time, you have routine. When you get old, you're like, hey, I go to the grocery store every Thursday after this because you know you, you just create yeah, this crazy. routine. That's crazy. So, yeah. That's great. I'm glad we all can come to it. As always, as always, guys. We're Ooh. coming to an end. Yes, yeah. we are. Jeez, cheers and beer style. Thank you guys so much for watching, tuning Ooh, in. Thank yep. you so much. And check out uh, our next episode. It'll be a special one. We do got a special. We got a lot everyone. to talk about. I'm super yes, excited. We're very excited. All right. See you all. Yeah. Peace. Peace.